Hey, what's up, man? Thank y'all for tuning in. So this one might hurt some people, but y'all know I'm here to tell the truth. Now, I want to say the quickest way for failure when it comes to a child is to play daddy ball. Why do I say that? First of all, when you play daddy ball, you give an unfavorable treatment, right, to other players for the sake of your son. The other reason is because you're not going to be realistic with the play and how talented your son is. You know what I'm saying? One of the things that I dislike is when a coach coaches a team, ignore all the flaws that his son is committing, and then somehow always want to get on the other player. The thing that Daddy Ball does is give that child a false sense of reality. Why do I say that? Because first of all, he's playing, most likely, is playing over a, a player that he's not better than. That's number one. So that creates some sort of entitlement. Now, when that kid go to whether it's middle school ball or whether it's high school ball, and that kid don't start, guess what that's going to do and create within that child? That's going to create some sort of entitlement far as him thinking that he should start just because right he he's not going to feel like he has to earn a spot even if he knows he's not better what you created in that child was something that no man should actually have to deal with right which is somebody believing that something should be given to him so for those who actually play daddy ball there's a very low percentage of your child actually making it and i'm not saying that you know to discourage anyone you know especially if you're a dad that's actually one of the ones that are hard on your child. You don't start your child when you know that he's not the better one. You just work with your child. You make sure that your child continues to get better, but you don't give him any type of uh, any type of gift. You don't put him over other players that you know that are better than him. You don't ignore the flaws that that child commits uh, versus when somebody else committed. You don't do those type of things. And as a daddy. From what I've seen, in most cases, they always give their child that favorable treatment. They can't help it because a lot of them start the team for that very reason. They start the team because they want their child to start and their child just don't have what it takes. Don't mean that he's not going to get there. It just means that at that moment, you may have a better player that's more suitable for that team. Too many times I have seen the dads that coach teams, I've seen them put their child in situations that they was not ready for. You know, so with that being said, man, you, I'm looking in the camera now because I was looking at my computer. If y'all want to know where I'm looking. You, you're doing your child a disservice. I know some of y'all don't want to hear that. I don't care. I'm out here for these babies. I'm out here for the development. I'm out here to make sure that uh, football somehow transfer and translate to life, right? And we know in life, you don't always get what you want unless you earn it. So that's all I got for now, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm out.